Izzy, tell me more about this Prison to Employment program. We call it Prison to Employment Services because it's not necessarily a program. And, and we love and we love not to say program because, uh, you know, knowing our population, we know individuals that have been just as involved and all they know is program, program, program. So we definitely want to take the stigma of the program out the way and just run with services. Easy. So who can utilize these services? Under the San Diego Workforce Partnership Umbrella does, uh, we do pre and post release as well. As a booking number 10 years ago, for any reason under the sun, they, they want to get some services, they qualify for our program. Another thing that we do is a post release, right? We get individuals, we go out there, we outreach and, 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 and help individuals that have the justice involved. Uh, and, and just to give you a little information about our program, our only eligibility to get in our program is you're either justice involved or have been justice impact. Izzy, it's been hard to get help with just the simple stuff. Hoops and hurdles just to get something. And we're trying to eliminate that. Like, okay, well, let's just focus on the goal. Not five years from now. Let's focus on tomorrow. What are we going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to go get an ID. Or we're going to get your I-9 documentation in order for you to work. Uh, how about a driver's license? Let's go ahead and do that. So it's called prison to employment services. So that means I can go to work tomorrow? To work tomorrow, don't get me wrong. But we need to find the right one. You know, back in the days, uh, somebody comes out, you're just as involved, you go get a shovel and you go work later. <clears throat> we're taking that stigma out here in San Diego and we're trying to stick, take this stigma out like, literally everywhere. Right, because we have been successful in putting people back into their career. Here in San Diego, we have a lot of funds for on-the-job training. And we talk to our employers, they already know that they come in from prison to employment. Does that make sense? So we already shatter one, one barrier, right? Because my job is to go get these individuals, go get these employers and let them know who we work with. Any questions? Any questions? I know I went a little bit too fast, but I'm just excited. <laughs>